We're concerned again for flooded roadways and rivers as we go into our Wednesday night and Thursday morning. It's meteorologist Joe Martucci here. We do have a flood watch in effect for all of the Jersey Shore and all of South Jersey from 7 p.m. Wednesday through Thursday evening. Now, this covers both the potential of flooding from the roadway flooding as well as the flooding that could happen on rivers here. Rainfall totals generally will be between one to two inches of rain. That's not as much as what we've seen in the previous two storms this month, but the ground is saturated. And it can't really take a lot more rain. So even one to two inches could certainly do the job and create some areas of flooding. So you do want to be careful out there on the roads, especially tonight where it's just going to be a soaking windswept rain. We take a look at our storm threats through Friday morning. Biggest concern here really is probably the fog and how dense it gets as we go into Thursday night. But there will be some areas of tidal flooding and rainfall flooding as we go over the next 24 hours as well. Wind damage not ruled out, but probably unlikely. So here's a look at our future cast here. And we'll start you off at 7 p.m. on Wednesday. That's when that heaviest, steadiest rain makes its way in. You see those oranges and yellows here. That's indicative of heavy rain. The heavy rain gets out by about 4 o'clock. But rain showers continue through the morning rush. I do believe by about 9 a.m. we're dry, but only to see returning showers starting around 2 o'clock or so, and they pass through into the evening. And It does look like pretty much all day long on Thursday will be wet. It's just that that rain for the afternoon and evening is more of the scattered variety than a steady soaking of rain. Then as we go into Friday, I do believe we're dry, but we could see a shower as we go into Friday night. Low risk, but I think the fog is a bigger story as we go into our Friday morning. Here's a look at our gusts, 25, 30 miles an hour here as we go overnight. Not that significant. It'll just be breezy out there, not enough to really even knock over garbage cans, I do believe. And then as we go into Thursday, winds coming out of the northwest, 10 to 20 miles an hour for gusts as we go into our Thursday. Now, there will be coastal flooding for an hour or two between 6 a.m. to noon here. This is what it could look like in Ocean City, those areas in yellow, as well as those orange areas, those are spots where water is expected to be on the roads. In addition, we have that rain as well. So this will probably be a little more exaggerated than what the map is even showing here. Let's take a look at that visibility because you know how foggy it was this morning in some spots below a quarter of a mile in a few areas. We go overnight. Yeah, there's fog, but it's going to be relatively light here. We actually should have pretty good visibility Thursday during the day, but watch it come back as we go into Thursday night. Visibility is under a half mile pretty much everywhere in South Jersey here, and there will be spots that get down below a quarter of a mile locally, and this will get out of here Friday afternoon. So it's really Thursday night to Friday morning. Visibility will be low. There will be some airport delays in Philadelphia as well as Atlantic City or National. Of course, not many flights flying at night, but just something to be aware of as we go into the later part of the week. So here's a look at our inland planner. Temperatures are mild as we go throughout this stretch. It's just wet. Temperatures going from the upper 40s Wednesday night to the low to mid 50s on our Thursday. And then we're back in the 40s for lows Thursday night. 51, 52 on Friday here. You know, when the fog's gone, it's actually pretty comfortable outside as we should see a few peaks of sunshine. Now, one th other thing we have going on, hey, how about that pinstripe ball at Yankee Stadium on Thursday here? Rutgers take it on Miami. If you're going to the game like me, we got cloudy skies. I do believe that the game itself will be dry outside of some areas of drizzle. Should be mild as well. That steadier rain or those spotty showers don't come until after the game ends, which will probably be around 5 or 5.30 here. Let's take a look at our travel hazards across the country. If you are traveling out of New Jersey, we have the problems here tonight with that rain. Otherwise, as we look across the country, Chicago, some issues in the morning here with snow. Otherwise, most of the country is pretty good for traveling around. This is only showing where there's significant fog, rain, wind, snow, or ice. And there's not really much to talk about as we go into Thursday and Friday here. As we go into Saturday, if you're traveling up to Maine, some issues on 95 there during the morning. Otherwise, not that bad to get where you need to go. Here's a look at our inland seven-day forecast, and we'll take you home. Temperature is sliding down back into the 40s as we go into Saturday, and that continues into the new year here. And that is going to be our trend as we go into January. We're going to say goodbye to those 50s, definitely more 40s, maybe even a few 30s here. Of course, the question is, do we see snow with this cooler weather? We'll talk to you more about that in our edition of Snow Search that you can find on PrezOfAC.com later tonight.